Hi there, I am Dr. Joanne Yanez. I'm the Executive Director for the Association of Accredited Naturopathic Medical Colleges. And today I'm gonna to share with you a little bit about the pathway to becoming an MD, as well as some of the common traits that we have seen in our successful grads. So I hope you join us and come on along for the ride. <clears throat> so a little bit about me. Uh, I was pre-health like many of you, uh, did uh, a psychology undergrad, and made my way through uh, all of the uh, prerequisite courses for pre-health and only to find that I didn't really quite fit in the careers that I was seeing. And so I did some digging and I stumbled upon naturopathic medicine and it really answered uh, so many of the things that I wanted to do as a practitioner. So I graduated, I completed residency, and then I got bit by the public health bug and uh, really wanted to make an impact in the collective health. So I went on and got my master's in public health. I've been certified in association management for a number of years now as well. I sit on a number of boards, uh, but I also recognize the, the importance of work-life balance. And so I try and dig in the dirt, laugh with my family, and uh, do all of the things that make life fun. So uh, with that, we'll start uh, talking about this. So if you can, um, take your phones and put them on silent, just kind of unplug for a minute and sit and listen and think about uh, how you can envision yourself in whatever pathway it is that you are uh, thinking about for you. So we're going to talk a little bit about what naturopathic medicine is, uh, how ND students are similar, some of the common traits that we see in our students, uh, a little bit about how to apply and more information there, and then some keys to some successful career, uh, career trajectories that we've seen. So naturopathic medicine is based on the six principles, first do no harm, the healing power of nature, identify and treating the cause. So not focusing solely on symptoms, but really focusing on what is the root cause? Why is somebody sick? Why is the disease showing up? Uh, serving as a teacher and a guide in a person's personal health journey uh, and treating the whole person, recognizing that Good health can come from mind, body, spirit, and all the things in between. Um, and then teaching our patients the power of prevention and how important it is to understand your body, be mindful of your body, and recognize the signs and symptoms when things are getting out of balance. So the therapeutic order is how we think about and address patient care. And so at the very bottom of this pyramid or triangle, uh, depending on how you look at it, if it's 360 or flat, um, is establishing the tools for optimal health. So that's going to be things like stress and sleep and nutrition and movement and positive thinking and all of the things that are foundational, safety, security uh, to health. At the top would be things like higher force interventions and suppressing disease uh, and you know, medic medications, many medications would fall into that realm as well as, you know, surgeries and things of that sort. So common myth misperception is that um, NDs are opposed to conventional medicine or against that, and it couldn't be farther from the truth. There is a, an appropriate time and place for all interventions and uh, naturopathic medicine and, and this approach works really well for people um, especially dealing with chronic health issues and longer term processes. So what are some of the common things we see in our students? Well, I will tell you so many of them come to us having been a patient themselves or having had a close loved one, had a health journey um, because it, it is one of the uh, more emerging professions. Uh, so oftentimes many people come to this uh, maybe by accident, like I did, or because of the health conditions that they've seen uh, really do well with, uh, with naturopathic approaches. And so uh, our students, though, are they are successful. They're academically successful. They are good communicators. They like to be health detectives and dig down and see what the root of the issue is. Uh, and often they've traveled or maybe have some cultural backgrounds that uh, have opened their eyes to different ways of healing. So uh, our students understand the art and the science um, and that both are important in the practice of medicine. They are often socially, environmentally concerned, uh, respectful of the environment. Uh, as I said earlier, you know, wanting to dig down and get to the root of things, you know, 
really problem solving, putting all of the pieces of things together, uh, and uh, and and often have uh, you know just a really good spirit about wanting to give back into the world and make the world a better place. So our curriculum is 4,100 hours. Uh, it is primarily in person, and uh, some of the schools, obviously, pandemic has changed how some education is delivered, but uh, you have to go and, and touch people to be a doctor. You've, you've got to be in person and hands-on. Uh, so all the ologies are included, anatomy with dissection, physiology, biochem, histo, path, all of the, the foundational science courses. Uh, and then we get into the naturopathic therapeutics. And so uh, integral in the practice of naturopathic medicine is the use of uh, you know, conventional diagnosis and treatment where you have to figure out what, what is wrong with somebody. And then based on our principles, we may integrate many different types of therapies like nutrition, mind-body medicine, uh, lifestyle counseling, homeopathy, hydrotherapy, botanical medicine, traditional Chinese medicine, herbs from many different cultures and customs, um, and many other things as well. So the prerequisites uh, to, you know, so where do you start? How do you get going if this is something that you're interested in? Um, well, first talk to a counselor, call up one or more of the schools and have a meeting with an academic advisor. Uh, you can bring even your unofficial transcripts if you don't have official ones, um, but, you know, have a real heart to heart and a sense of what it is that you need to take. Don't try and guess it yourself. There are folks that can help you on this journey. So, uh, you know, really you don't need to do this alone. Uh, but many students will have an undergrad degree in biological sciences, but it's not 100% necessary. We have students who have come from so many different types of backgrounds and pathways to get to where they are. We have folks where this is a second, third, or fourth career. Um, and so maybe they have studied something else and they're going back and they're getting their prerequisites. Um, some students will find that business courses and uh, nutrition courses and additional biology courses can be helpful. But again, talk to a counselor because your journey is gonna be your journey. So uh, cumulative GPA is looked at, prerequisite courses are looked at uh, in making the admissions decisions, but the MCAT is not required. It can be viewed and uh, looked at uh, during the holistic uh, admissions process, but it isn't required for school. So what does the application look like? You may apply through NDCAS, which is our centralized application service. So school, three of the locations use that. Um, the uh, transcripts, letters of recommendation, and in-person interviews also may be required uh, in your application process. And so careers, where do NDs work? NDs work in so many different places. The majority are going to be in uh, family practice or group integrative medicine settings, uh, but we're seeing a growth of concierge and telemedicine practices. Uh, many NDs will work in nonprofit and underserved communities. Uh, there is loan, federal loan forgiveness for working in nonprofits. So some of our grads see benefit in that. Uh, some get into administration like myself, uh, others in research uh, and academia and uh, the natural products industry is a huge work environment for our grads. Uh, many will find employment there. Some get excited and they start their own businesses, or maybe they've had some prior background. Uh, we don't see as many NDs working in hospitals or hospital-based systems uh, because so much of what we do is more outpatient-based. Uh, and uh, but those are some of the the opportunities available. So, like I said, research scientists, natural pharmacy, public health administrators, uh, folks will be consultants. They we have a lot of docs who've been writing very successful books. Uh, and and getting on the speaking circuit. And so the one thing that I will say is that there's a lot of flexibility to what you can do and how you can use this degree. And even mid-career, uh, rather than going and going back to school to change gears, uh, many NDs will retool their career later on as their interests change, as their life experiences change, and as their life environments change. Uh, you know, we, we are fluid beings. And so uh, there isn't always one size fits all as far as careers. Some people get lucky and they do the same thing for their entire life and other folks uh, see, see that they want different uh, exposure and different opportunities. So uh, the practice patterns for naturopathic doctors, uh, many will really focus. And what we see here is the 
large majority of folks uh, will work on things that are very core to the training that you get as a naturopathic doctor. So nutrition is core. Addressing the gut, GI disorders is core. Um, dealing with sleep, insomnia, fatigue, uh, you know, the things that we talked about in that therapeutic order uh, as core to being healthy, mental health. So, uh, you know, I think that it's really vital to see that the practice follows uh, very closely how we're taught to uh, to practice as NDs. Uh, but we'll have folks working in pain management. Uh, many patients are, are seeing that they want other options to chronic illnesses like pain, uh, like cardiovascular complaints, like fertility. And so uh, they're, they will often seek naturopathic doctors to help them in those concerns. So the various different employment settings, uh, the red is Canada and the blue is the US. Uh, as, as I said earlier, most are gonna be in practice. The numbers don't add up to 100 because people may have multiple places where they're working. So you know anybody who's looking at the numbers like, wait, those don't add up to 100. They don't because sometimes people enjoy flexibility of having multiple work environments. Uh, and what we do see now, there is never going to be any career where you're going to find 100% satisfaction. You're always going to have someone who is disgruntled, or uh, maybe they just changed their minds in what they found was important in their life and their values. Um, so, but we do see that the majority of folks are satisfied or very satisfied in their choice uh, and uh, really happy to do what they're doing and, and see people getting well when they don't get well otherwise. Uh, it, it, it can be just extremely gratifying to be a participant in that. So some of those are the keys to success. A few others that I see with successful graduates is that they start getting really clear on what it is they want their uh, their career to look like, and they start networking. They don't just sit back and wait for it to happen. They go out and they seek success. So they start networking. They start attending conferences. They start uh, preceptoring and interning with various different types of clinics and practitioners to be exposed to all the different ways that you can use your naturopathic degree. And they go and they take their success in their hands and they're an active participant in it. Uh, they get really clear on their business plan. They, they get clear on, on what kind of doc they want to be and they start moving the needle to going to be that person. So uh, there is, there's a lot of success waiting for NDs. There's a lot of growth in the field. We've seen increase in uh, regulation, increase in insurance coverage in, uh, in various different populations that can access our care now. Uh, and so the growth is really there and the success is yours for the taking, but you do have to be an active participant in it. So the, the folks that we see that do well are very driven and, and motivated and focused on that. And so uh, with that, uh, I love what I've chosen as my career, uh, taps into all of the, the capacity of, of healing that we can, uh, and, it, and it's never boring. There's always something new to learn. There is always a different way of thinking about a problem. And, uh, and that, those are some of the things that I love about naturopathic medicine. So with that, I uh, hope that you all stay in touch. Here are some ways to reach out to the association and uh, hope that we will see you at one of our events. And if this is a path for you, that uh, we will welcome you along it. So thanks for, for listening for a moment. And uh, here's my contact information if you have any additional questions or thoughts along the way. So wishing you all the best on your path and uh, look forward to maybe seeing you at an event in the future. Have a great one, folks.